Turning now to Health Watch this evening. About one in eight women in the U.S. will develop invasive breast cancer during their lifetime. Shelly Bota tells us how breast cancer support groups can help women in their fight against that deadly disease. This year alone, more than 230,000 women and 2,300 men will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer. It's a disease a person should not have to fight alone. But breast cancer support groups can help patients and their families heal. Diane Hazel is Tracy Klug's cancer navigator nurse at the Breast Health Center at Aurora Bay Care Medical Center, helping Tracy through her cancer journey from biopsy to treatment. I start talking to them about what their diagnosis is, what does this mean, where do we start? Tracy was diagnosed with breast cancer in February. You're never prepared to hear that news. But she wasn't shocked. Her mother, grandma, and two aunts fought the same battle. Well, my mom passed away in 2011 from breast cancer. Tracy did go through a roller coaster of emotions. First I was upset, and I'm like, no, you can't be upset because you've got kids, so you choke that back. And then, then I actually think I was a little bit angry about it for a little while. To help her deal with these emotions, Diane suggested Tracy attend a breast cancer support group meeting. Women coming together with their families to see other people how uh, they're not alone. They are other people that are going through the same things. I found out that it was kind of nice to be there with other women who were going through this all at different stages to understand what they were going through and to learn things with them and listen to their questions. The group meets four times a year and offers insight into what is happening in the field. Every meeting includes a presentation on a different educational topic. They did dietary, they did um, yoga, meditation. Um, in October, it's going to be um, the plastic surgeons. There is also a question and answer period. And it's very open to um, any kind of questions about, you know, that topic or actually any, any breast health. Then patients and their families have a chance to connect. People just mingle and start talking with each other and start connecting with each other. Tracy had a double mastectomy and is now cancer free, but still plans to attend future meetings. I feel like it's um, a good way to be with people in the same situation, even though there, there's different stages. You just feel like you all belong, like there's this sisterhood. The Breast Cancer Support Group is free and open to anyone. The next meeting is Tuesday, October 13th at Aurora Bay Care Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center from 6.30 until 8. The presentation will be on plastic surgery and breast reconstruction. To learn more, you can call Aurora Bay Care or email healthwatch at aurorabaycare.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.